preacher turned pedophile Jerry Wayne Love continues to cause controversy in the state of Alabama after admitting to the molestation of his three adopted children. He was given a plea deal that resulted in five years of probation, sexual behavior treatment, and no jail time. Now members of the community are outraged and worried for their kids. Joining us now, concerned citizen, mother, former gubernatorial candidate, by the way, Loretta Null. Loretta, welcome uh, to Hannity and Combs. You make a great case. Good evening, Jim. That, good, good evening. Uh, drug offenders um, are given uh, uh, worse treatment in some cases than are uh, people who commit crimes like the one we're talking about here. Oh, they absolutely are. Um, I, you know, in my own personal case, I went to jail basically for writing a letter to the Birmingham News disagreeing with drug policy and saying we ought to change it. And I work in drug policy and prison reform. Um, and they, you know, drug, drug offenders very often get much harsher sentences. For instance, the average sentence for first degree possession of marijuana in the state of Alabama is 308 months with an average of 55 months served, uh, about five years. And the average sentence for a first degree sexual abuse case in Alabama is 120 months with an average of four years served. Apparently, so it really doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Also, a child rapist can get out of prison and still be eligible for federal school financial aid uh, in the form of a Pell Grant or someone convicted of simple possession of marijuana one, it doesn't have that opportunity, correct? That's exactly right. I mean, you think about, uh, like, I, my conviction was overturned on 420 of this year, uh, ironically enough. Uh, but, you know, if, if I wanted to go to school while that was still going on, while the conviction was over my head, I couldn't. But this guy, if he wants to go study elementary and special education, then, hey, no problem. The federal government will pay for him to do that. What happened to you? Why were you up on charges? Uh, I wrote a letter to the Birmingham News saying that we needed to change the marijuana laws in Alabama. We've got a prison system designed for 12,000 people, and right now there are 29,021 inmates in it. 18% of those are for nonviolent drug offenses, mostly marijuana. Hey, and Laura, I thought, you know, we're spending, you know, yes. Uh, I, I don't, I don't want to get off. We don't have a lot of time here. Uh, I want to stay specifically sure. on this case. We're talking about first-degree mm -hmm. sodomy, multiple kids, repeated attempts here. Um, exactly. Now, no jail time whatsoever. What recourse right. is there in terms of, you know, the people of Alabama want safety for their children and their community. What opportunity do they have to, you know, get this overturned? Well, I think right now they need to be looking at the fact that uh, the defense attorney, Mr. Uh, Walter Allen Davis, gave a $500 campaign contribution to the judge in one of the last election cycles. And she should have recused herself. There's no law saying that she has to, but she should have. And also, uh, Stephen Aldridge, who was another defense attorney in this case, used to head up the sex crimes division of the DA's office. The judge used to be a prosecutor for sex crimes. Can they impeach the judge? Between... Can they remove the judge? Uh, Can I there don't... be disciplin disciplinary action taken against the judge? I would encourage the citizens of Madison County and other concerned citizens of Alabama to file a complaint with the Alabama Judiciary uh, in right. Inquiry Commission. But what can happen? I'm, I'm trying to get to the bottom line. Do you have the ability to impeach or remove from office the judge in this case? Through the Judicial Inquiry Commission, you have the opportunity to, uh, yes, to do that. Uh, it would be a, a cold day in Hades before it happens, I can guarantee you, but that is an option, yes. Yeah, well, that, that's pretty, uh, pretty chilling here. Do most people want the judge removed? Is there that much outrage in the community? Uh, there's a lot of outrage. I haven't heard a lot of people calling for her to step down. I think maybe because they know how impossible it is. I talked to an attorney today from uh, Madison County who regularly argues cases in her courtrooms, and he told me that, uh, you know, basically a, a nonviolent drug offender is subjected to a drug screening test before she's willing to even consider a plea deal, and right she only considers it depending on. Thanks very much for. Uh, but you got to run right, right, right there in that. But thank you so much for coming on our show tonight.